ಅವನು ಮರೆಯಲೆಂತು ನಾನಮ್ಮ ಮರೆಯಲೆಂತು ನಾನಮ್ಮ ತಾಯಿ ನಿನ್ನ ಉಪಕಾರವನು ಮರೆಯಲೆಂತು ನಾನಮ್ಮ ಮರೆಯಲೆಂತು ನಾನಮ್ಮ ಒಂಬತ್ತು ತಿಂಗಳ ಹೊತ್ತು things anapurna as she experienced it once more after her husband left her her new status as a lone woman made it difficult to fit into her community but then some people from outside her village came to identify dedicated people who could help to develop a water and sanitation plan for her village after a lot of hesitation she came forward and took the job more members of her village joined in the project started to grow and the community valued her again The name of a village is Parchigal and it is located in North Karnataka in India. Parchigal has a population of 1300 people divided in 200 households. There are two parts called New Parchigal and Old Parchigal. The two parts are divided by a seasonal stream. Across the newly built bridge is New Vachigal, the Janata colony. The houses are built with the support of the government. The social organization in the village retains traditional characteristics, although it is lessening as children from all castes, including Harijans, sit side by side in school. The main source of income in Karnataka is agriculture, and during the daytime, you can come across the villagers in the field where they are preparing the land. or later in the season you may find them harvesting their cattle is of great value and it is kept near or in their homes there are other works of life to be found in portugal as for example this blacksmith who forges a pickaxe the village carpenter who shapes this piece of wood into a plow and for some women basket making is a source of income Portugal has a mini water scheme it has limitations but villagers don't seem to see them as very serious this was a reason for which it was chosen as one of the three pilot villages for the Karnataka integrated rural water supply and sanitation project The focus not being on water problems gave the project the opportunity to test its community-based approach and to develop community management systems in planning, promoting and implementing its concept of environmental sanitation. There are two more pilot villages, Jalibar and Jiragal. During the rainy season, water of the river near Jiragal is used for washing clothes and bathing. Drinking water is usually collected where the water taste is appreciated. In Jiragal, the villagers prefer river water which they carry home. In some areas hand pumps give brackish water this is one of the reasons that this hand pump is not maintained other hand pumps however do provide tasty drinking water the communities face environmental problems as well waste is left at the fringes of the village which are also used as defecation places Open defecation is the age-old practice of the area which almost everyone follows. Waste water from household activities if not properly disposed may result in ponding which attracts flies and mosquitoes and can cause an unpleasant smell. Spilt water at water points is frequently a problem. It can make the place muddy and here as well it provides an excellent breeding place for mosquitoes. 
Some types of soil do not permit water to drain easily, as here in Jalibur, the third pilot village. This also can cause environmental problems. Back to Varchikal, where members of the village committee are elected. It is a firm belief of the project that the community itself should be in charge of their own development. Therefore, there is a need for a group of people who represent the community and form a committee, which can serve as an umbrella for possible subcommittees formed in different colonies or of women's groups. Together, they are in charge of organizing all community activities for the project. Kannada, the local language, has a word for together. Tene, it means cob, and it refers to the way Jola seeds are joined together. But how to organize working together? For this, the project uses participatory tools and techniques. Annapurana and her colleagues were trained to use these techniques, which were further refined during the pilot phase. So the project village workers were frequently counseled by project staff members and together they worked at how to adopt the methodology to the local situation. In the future, promotion and training officers will assist a cluster of villages and at district level there will be district units to help the community to plan and implement. For community development, the villagers have to focus first on the existing situation. One of the techniques to do so is to draw a village social map as here in Jalibur. Its purpose is to define the village boundaries, main topographical, physical and social features. It starts with a group of people of which each member identifies and draws her or his own house. And it grows to a community map into which goes all the artistic skill of the villagers. How much water and from which sources is used by whom? To come to know more about this subject, ranking of water sources was done. The stones tell how much water the villagers in Jiragal are using and from which source. The women inform how many family members are the consumers. In Jiragal, the government of Karnataka has initiated a women's group which started their own income generating project. This pinning and weaving factory gives an additional income to these women. For the project, it is an excellent place to have a discussion about their appreciation of the different water sources. Again, ranking is used here to establish brackishness, as this is the main problem in Jiraga. Crystals of salt are used as indicators. To come to know more about, for example, family size, health and sanitation, Annapurana conducts a baseline interview. She and her colleagues in the other villages visit households and inquire about these subjects. For planning solutions of environmental problems, social maps are used. The Jalibar Village Committee works out an activity plan with locally available materials. Tamarind seeds represent soak pits, red chilies the toilets, the pieces of jowar indicate lane paving. This building in Jalibur is constructed by the Mahila Samakya, a women's program empowering women by forming women's groups and creating gender awareness. The Karnataka Integrated Water Supply and Sanitation Program tries to involve local organizations in the project and here a discussion is ongoing about how activities can be linked. For how to solve certain problems, technical advice is needed. The villagers show the project staff the places they want to upgrade. Together they discuss how they can solve drainage problems and the connection of this lane to a drain. But there is as well planning needed at a larger scale, as the team leader of the Dutch support unit explains. The scale of location of the about 200 villages over large districts of Darwat and Bidyapur 
and the multidisciplinary in activities involved require uh, various agencies to join hands. In line with the decentralized structure of the state, a project planning and monitoring unit in the Department of Rural Development in Panchayat Raj is in charge for overall planning, coordinating, and monitoring, while district project units in the Zila Parishads of Darwat and Bijapur plan in detail and implement. Field staff supervises and the communities are involved through village committees. Netherlands assistance comprises project village workers to mobilize village communities, field staff to promote and train, uh, as well as district project support units in Darwat and Bijapur and a state project support unit in the state capital Bangalore. In general, uh, proven technologies will be used. Four schemes for water supply were developed. The majority of the villages will get a simple bow well scheme. However, where groundwater is either not available or of unaccepted quality, other solutions are necessary as is explained here. In brackish groundwater zones, villages will be provided with water from irrigation canals. Surface runoff will continue to be collected in existing tanks. To tide over the dry season, the tanks will be filled up to capacity with irrigation water at the end of the operation of the canals. This scheme is designed to provide a group of villages in a brackish groundwater area with water extracted from sandbanks along the Malaprabha River. The initial proposal included 13 villages and was explained to the villagers during introductory meetings. Four villages, which were at the tail end of the scheme, were in favor of another solution. Thus, as shown here, the scheme layout now includes nine villages. Surveys are underway to provide an alternative solution for the other four villages. Before the support unit could give answers to all questions, a lot of information was needed. As for example, to collect topographical data, surveys had to be done. This, amongst others, serves for establishing pipeline routes. All the data were precisely recorded. Together with villagers, areas were delineated where there could be sufficient and good quality water. In these areas, geologists did surveys. Uh, Local geologists were trained yes, in new techniques. For rapid surveys, the electromagnetic yeah, technique was used. Yeah. I think you should take up the measurement. Yeah. On the basis of this survey, okay. detailed measurements were taken by vertical electric sounding. Okay. Geological profiles are drawn and anomalies in them indicate the fracture yeah, zones yeah. likely yeah, containing right. water. Vertical electrical sounding and uh, I think it's a very good curve. See, ah, yes. See, it starts decreasing and probably here you may strike water. But to be sure that there is sufficient ground water, the best way is to demonstrate it. This test drilling is performed to detect the possible drilling depth and to get more information about the subsoil structure. The clay suspension helps the drill to go smoothly. Of every drilled meter, samples of the soil are collected and kept for further examination. The rate of success of the geological survey regarding water yield turned out to be much higher than if done in the conventional way. All the collected data are stored in databases. The findings are used to prepare drawings and design reports. The department is kept informed about proposed solutions through progress reports. We from the government side have geared our machinery. We are sanctioning the staff 
required for execution of the project. Normally, previously all the water supply schemes projects have been executed, maintained and run by the government machinery only. But now the shift is changing. We want the people to be partners in the execution and maintenance of the project and its running thereof. The ultimate benefit of this is going to them and they are responsible for its maintenance. Back to Varchigal where implementation has started. In the old situation, the spilt water of this water point was not properly disposed. But together, the villagers worked to solve this problem. Young and old take part in this job. A new platform and drain were constructed. This female mason was trained to plaster after the bricks are set. Only skilled labor is paid for. Unskilled labor has to be provided by the villagers themselves. The management is well in the hands of the village committee. The field officers provide them with money for building materials. Market research is the basis of the costs of material needed. Here the prices of cement are compared. The Janata colony of New Varchukhal needed at this water point extra storage capacity. So an unused cistern was transported to the spot, erected and extra water could be stored. At the same time the water point was upgraded and new washing slabs were built. The height was established according to the wishes of the women. This watering trough was specially designed and built for the cattle. But did they appreciate this gesture? Probably they were a bit annoyed at not being asked to participate. But at the end it worked out fine. To complete the construction, a small tree was planted to provide shade in future. How to solve the problem of wastewater disposal? First, the absorption capacity of the soil is tested. A percolation test is done. For the test, the villagers dig a hole. If percolation is proper, 12 buckets full of water disappear into the ground within 24 hours. If the test results are satisfactory, a kitchen outlet can be connected to a soak pit. But if, according to the test, a soak pit isn't the answer, another solution should be found. The support unit developed this perforated pipe system. The holes in the pipes ensure that the waste water percolates into the soil with which the pipes will be covered. On top, a kitchen garden can flourish. Another possibility is to connect the outlet to a drain through which the waste water can be diverted away from the village. To solve the problem of muddy surroundings of water points, drains are constructed to direct the spilt water to safer places. The village committee here together with project staff members supervises the construction and takes care of clearing of the area. And how was the problem of the narrow lane solved? Lane paving and a small drain did the job. Although latrines are still not in great demand, some households started with the assistance of the project to build their own. But improvements of the concept are still needed as well as latrine promotion. But how the facilities are used and how people accept change in hygiene behavior is as much important. Anapurana is trained to create sanitation awareness amongst her community members. In future, she will have another place to use for hygiene education. In every village, the project will construct an Anganwadi, a preschool building which can serve as a meeting point and for demonstration purposes as well. For change in hygienic behavior, school children are a target group most appropriate to focus at first. They are still susceptible to change their behavior and can influence other people as well. Here's an example of how children include health in their play and criticize traditional health practice. Ramakati Krishna Kati Kandita Lare Ramakati
Adults also can be put on the stage. The villagers were involved in a street theatre workshop. Now they are able to produce their own play and this is the result. In this play, staged jointly by the three villages, an ignorant village leader is made aware of the problems in his village and is finally convinced of the importance of working together for a better environment. For all the villagers involved in the integrated water supply and sanitation project, it is an ideal opportunity to come together and join Annapurna in its song about working together and developing their own communities.